Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Back, back with another one, guys. Listen, man, oh boy, I be feeling like I'm like a uh, repetitive recorder or something because it just keeps getting more and more astounding every episode, guys. But I just want to let y'all know, y'all better tap in. Tap in now where you can. Regular guys got irregular cars on YouTube every Friday, guys. We out here, it's cold outside. Me in the East Coast, got on bubble gooses and all that smoke coming out my mouth, but we bringing y'all the heat. Trust me when I tell you, we bringing y'all the heat. Regular guys got irregular cars on YouTube. Every Friday, it's gonna be non-stop. Make sure y'all tap in. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Tell a friend to tell a friend to hit the subscribe button. Leave a positive comment, because I definitely read the comments, guys, so make sure y'all leave a positive comment after watching the um, different episodes and all that. And um, share the video as well, do that too. Also guys, regular guys that irregular cars on Instagram. When you follow me on Instagram, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a little preview two to three weeks out in advance of what's gonna drop on the YouTube channel. So make sure y'all tap in. Regular guys that irregular cars on Instagram. And we got TikTok. Regular guys that irregular cars on TikTok. When you follow me on TikTok, what's gonna happen is the same episodes you've seen on YouTube, we're gonna flip and bounce the videos with music and all that behind it. So it's definitely worth tapping into the TikTok as well. That being said, I took care of the housekeeping business and all that. I gotta introduce y'all to the man of the hour. Let's go. Yo, yo, my boy. Appreciate you coming out, kid. Definitely appreciate you coming out. I know you got something crazy you're gonna show us, but um, I'm I'm so excited. I gotta keep my composure. <laughs> Word, I gotta keep my composure, man, because this one right here, guys, it just keeps getting better and better, man. So I'm not gonna talk too much. Let the people know what's your name, what city and state you represent, and if you're down with a team, let them know that too. Hi, hi, everybody doing? My name is Kay. I'm from Orange, New Jersey. Uh, president of Prime VQs, one of the biggest VQ clubs in the tri-state area. Facts. Um, so, Facts. just here today, show you what I got, and hope y'all like it. Yo, you know what's crazy? I didn't know you was the president. You yeah. the president? Yeah. Now it I'm makes one sense. The, one of the founders. It makes sense of why you coming the way you coming, bro, because I, I was going to say, damn. You know what I mean? I you to. must be somebody that's somebody. I have to. Sheesh! That makes about, sense, bro. It's all about setting the bar. Setting so Yo, good. you setting the bar dumb high, though. I, I have to. Is that fair, though? I mean, <laughs> I mean it's up there, kid. Sometimes, you know what I mean? A great leader got to set the bar somehow. That's a fact. That's I mean, a fact. That's the only way others, others follow. You can't set it too low. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. So it makes sense, bro. Definitely makes sense. So, boom. Speaking of making sense and setting the bar dumb high, what's the year making model for the car we're going to see today? I got a, uh, a 2014 Infinity Q60. It's not a G37, it's a Q60. Yo, that's crazy. That's a Q60. Yeah. And that's crazy. It's a 2014? Yeah. Yo, I, I don't think I asked you that before camera. Is it 2014? 2014. Yo, guys, y'all might think it's a 2024 when you see the joint. But it's a 2014, you say? 2014. That's nuts. Oh, my gosh. All right, so, boom. Before we show the car and all that, I got to ask you. Because a very important part of why I put the channel together, I want to inspire people. I want to motivate them. I want to let the viewers know that when they see these cars every Friday on the channel, these cars are attainable. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be a billionaire. You don't got to be a celebrity, ball player, or rapper, or singer, whatever the case may be. We regular guys and girls. So that being said, what do you do for a living to be able to make your car look the way your car looks? I'm a truck driver. Truck driver. Truck driver. Okay. So what you drive? The big semi joints or the box trucks? Like both. 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 How long you been doing that? Oh, uh, 
been doing it for like the past four or five years. Okay. You know I mean? Not years, yeah. Yeah. But like I said, I'm a, a local guy, regular guy. Yeah, regular yeah. guy. Um, work for your, your milk company. Word. Your milk guy. Word. Milk Word. Milk company, milk. So exactly. that's that's what that's what pays for this. Sheesh. Nice. So guys, y'all see that, right? We all regular guys, man. We get a we get a uh, like a we get a picture in our mind of what we want, and you got to be goal oriented. You set a goal for yourself, right? Yeah. And then boom, you just make it happen. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be no celebrity or none of that. At the end of the day, we all regular guys. So I, I wanted to point that out to to the viewers and let them know that all this stuff is a thing. Of course. So let me ask you though. You say you got the uh, infinity, right? Damn. And which 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 is it again? Q60. The Q60. What made you get the Q60? Well, when I first was in the market shopping, okay, I mean I wanted a coupe. Mm -hmm. Like, this is actually my second. <laughs> second one. Yeah. Okay. I had a G35. I had a G35. Actually, this is my third. I had a G35 coupe too. A couple years back, I had a stick shift. Okay. 2010, I had a stick shift G35 coupe. 15, I had a, a auto. Okay. So I'm well familiar with these platforms. Like, I'm, yeah. I've been playing with these cars for like the last 13, 14 years. Mm, okay. So I'm real familiar with them. They're good cars, they look good, they sound great. Yeah. Um, and it's a lot you can do to them. Fact. It's a lot you can do to them. Fact. Speaking of doing a lot, you did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you did a lot, bro. I tried, man. Speaking of doing a lot, man. You ready to show the people the car? Let's do it. Let's show the people the car. Sheesh! <laughs> Guys, when y'all hear me say that sheesh like that, I'm not saying it just to say it, man. This is this is definitely worth that for real. This is crazy, bro. Color, everything about this thing is just screaming like it's all. I love it, bro. Wait. I love it. Ah. Right. We'll gather my composure again. It's like every time I get into the car, I just get super hyped, man. But um, you probably used to people getting hyped when they see the car. I mean, some people like it, some people don't. Is that right? Everybody has the taste of what they like. Facts. Like Facts. I said before, when I did what I did to it, I did it for me. Facts. I really didn't care what anybody else think. Yeah, yeah. People always going to get positive feedback, going to get negative feedback. Okay. I mean, but it all depends on how you respond to it. Exactly. Me, I respond to it by doing this. Like, the more and more I do to it, the more and more it pisses me. <laughs> hey man, for those people that's pissed off, good luck, man. Good luck. At the end of the day, I love it. I can't say nothing, but I love it all day. But um, I'm gonna let you run with it, man. What you got going on exterior wise? Alright, so we're gonna start with the front. Yeah, let's start uh, in the front, baby. Uh. It's a Q. I want to say it's a it's the aftermarket, but it's mm -hmm. a QS Sport bumper. Okay. So it's the aftermarket um bumper for the coupe. Okay. The bottom of it is the Q50 model, and the top of it is the uh is the coupe molding. That's so crazy. everything from the grill on down is uh is for the Q50. Bezels, lip, everything. Mm -hmm. So grill, carbon fiber grill. Carbon fiber RBG uh, light up emblem. Nice. Um, six speed horns. Like, they're, I ain't plug them in. I just really got them for look. Cause okay. Because, like I said, they stand out a little bit. So I like to be Definitely. different. Definitely. Um, customized headlights, uh, retrofitted. Mm -hmm. uh, carbon fiber hood. Um, like I said, the vents are active. So all that hot air can get out. Now, you said carbon fiber hood. So is this a wrap or is this the actual hood is carbon fiber? No, this is 100% carbon. Sheesh! Nice, bro. Carbon. You're not playing around, kid. Right. <laughs> um, fenders. Uh, also, um, fins on them. Um, Different. Nismo 370Z wheels. Not the 9.5s, they're the 10.5s. Big boy wheels, not the, not the 
I believe yeah, it's an extra wide too. So let me stop you there too. What made you grab the, the Nissan truck, the Nismo wheel? Um, I always liked them. I mean, I always had a thing for them. Okay. Uh, when I first seen them, I always liked concave look on okay. wheels. I never really was a big fan of like the lip around the wheels. I never really right, cared for it. Right, them. right. So the concave really sticks out a little bit more to me. And it also looked like when you bend in the corner, uh -huh. and if you looking at the car from the rail from the side. Yeah, crazy. It just looks amazing. Crazy. Looks amazing. I can imagine. Um, Akibono sport brakes, slotted and drill rotors, all sports. Uh, carbon fiber one piece side skirt. Mm -hmm. um, now this is a, this this is a, this is a tricky one. Yeah, these mirrors. Yeah, you gotta explain these mirrors right now. So, this is a Q50. Okay. Sedan mirrors. Q50 sedan. So these mirrors never supposed to be on this car. Exactly. So. What I did was, when I first seen them, I always had a thing for these mirrors. Okay. I loved them. Love how they look. Love how they illuminate. Right. They just look good. Right. So I said, you know what? I want to see if they can fit in the car. Mm -hmm. So I never seen nobody put them on a car. So right. I see on this, on this, on this model. This model. Right. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I purchased them from a part out. Uh, I tried to put the whole thing together. Mm -hmm. Didn't work. Went back to the drawing board. Okay. Um, came up with another idea. So I said, you know what? Use the base for the car. Use that, and then try to put the mirror into the base. Didn't work. Didn't so work. I had to go back to the drawing board again. So when I figured out that the mirror was a circle, okay, the base was an oval shape. I said, you know what? I might have to trim out the base try to get the circle into the oval. So That's crazy. I had to you try to fit a, a circle into, into an oval. oval. Exactly. So I said, you know what? I got to just open it up a little bit, but I can't lose the integrity or it's not going to sit. It's not going to sit flush in there. Exactly. Yeah. So I was able to open it up just a little bit so I could get it in there. Uh -huh. So when I finally got it together, that was it. It fit in there? Perfect. Like you would, a lot of people think these are OEM, and they're not. They're not. They're not. This is crazy, yo. You would never see these on this body. Never. Nobody has no, there's nothing on the forums. Uh -huh. There's nothing on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, nothing. Right, right. That shows how to do this. That's crazy. And I figured it out on my own. <laughs> you figured it out, bro. You know, and, everything, the code. and everything works. Like, mirror works. It works with the actual car. Uh, really? Um, so the light, turn your all, signal on, all of that, everything works. All right, so I'm gonna stop you right there, bro. I need you to show us that it works. Cause that's crazy. All right, being that the car is off, I probably got to do an Okay. Sheesh, it works, works, guys. He was not playing. He act, yo, and that's a crazy light. The way. It's, yeah, that's hard. That's hard. The way the lights dance like that, that's hard. You definitely. Now, we see that it works. How was the, How did you even get it, like, the wiring, all of that maxed up? So, being that, like I said, being that this is from a Q50, yeah. the base is different. So the whole wiring mechanism is completely different from this car. The gear to the body is different. Right. So, in this car, Wiring harness is a, uh, a seven wire wiring harness. Seven wire. So, and this is it's five. So I had to find some type of way I had to try to wire them up. So the only thing I could think about is color matching. And once I started color matching everything, like I said, it started it started coming together. Yeah. So now, once I figured out left and right, yeah. I say no, I got to tweak something else. So I tweaked it a little bit more, then I got left, right, up and down, sideways, and everything else. So everything at the mirror 100% works. 100% function, kid. Function. That's crazy, yo. That's some real MacGyver stuff. Like, you really figured that out. Bro. And it's not like, and I'm not a wiring type type guy. Like, yeah. I, I hate doing wiring. It's, yeah. the most, it's the most difficult and most 
most like obnoxious thing to do. Yeah, it's very yeah, tedious. 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 Because man. the thing about wiring, if you don't do it correct and you cross something wrong, you can either spark a fire or right. blow a fuse. Right. And then now you're chasing bigger problems. So I had to figure it out some type of way. Because I wasn't giving up on this. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't giving up on this. Damn. Yo, so, I'm glad you didn't give up on it though, because actually the fact that it's functional or when you show how the lights dance and all yeah. that. Yo, that's dope. That's crazy. So I definitely didn't want to give up. Woo wee! Guys, don't give up, man. What it, this is that's a, that's one of the lessons that that's that's gonna really reach the people for real. Because as I'm listening to your story, I'm like, damn. I probably would have gave up. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I yeah. probably would have gave up. Like, yeah, hell, like, God, I posted, like, I posted a video, not yeah. actually how I did it, but I posted them being functional yeah. on my TikTok. Mm -hmm. So when I did that, like, I got slammed with questions. Slammed with oh. questions on how to do oh. it. So everybody wants, like, a lot of people want to know how to, how to do that. Bro. Groups, answer things. They all want to know how to do that. That's crazy, man. You figured it out, though. Yeah, so I, was like, out. I wasn't gonna give up on it. Facts. That's yeah. always the way, man. If there's a will, there's a way. Of course. Of the it's like that. All right. So what else you got going on? So, uh, carbon fiber shark antenna. Mm. Carbon fiber wheel window spoiler. I love it. Uh, same thing with the wheels. Uh, I get bone ups. It's more so. Um, the rear got. Carbon fiber trunk, OEM wheels, they just uh, attended them. Uh, Let me stop you there again. So the carbon fiber trunk, that's an actual carbon fiber trunk or you got it wrapped? Or how? No, every, everything, everything on the car, that's carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, it's carbon fiber. Carbon, fiber. Every, uh, carbon diffuser. Carbon diffuser. Yeah, the thing how that started. Um, I was never supposed to start the car like never i never wanted to do carbon fiber when i started doing this so this so, right here this is the fuser we talking about right yeah okay okay so i never wanted to do carbon fiber the reason that it started was i wanted that diffuser mm -hmm. for the third brake light and also that's another thing too the uh 370z third brake light okay i wanted that because i like how i look so when i was looking online for it I couldn't find the gloss black when I stopped. Okay. So I had to go for carpet. So as when I got it, put it on the car. Now I'm ordering gloss black, side stones, everything. Little arrow pieces. Yeah. So now I'm starting to look at the car like this don't look right. Yeah. It got carpet with gloss. It don't gloss. I, I really didn't like it. It, it did some people may like it, but it don't fit me. Right. Right. It's either you one or the other. Exactly. So that's how that that one piece of carbon turned the rest of the car car. So was this the first mod that you that you actually purchased, or was it the first carbon piece you purchased? Very first mod. Really? Very first mod. Nice. So this is this is it right here. So that's the set off right here. Started. Jeez. Very first okay. Mod. I'm glad you wanted that diffuser, bro. Yeah, I like, I, I like, like, I was, I was so, I was stuck on it because I seen, like I said, I saw videos on YouTube where yeah. I said, yo, that third brake like looks, it looks nice. Yeah. You know I mean, and also when you see it illuminate with the car, it looks nice. Definitely. So, the, the, that diffuser was the only one that I seen that, that fit perfectly with the car. Right. So, when I got it, I was like, damn, I, I, it's nothing else I could get. Like, I, I got to get the car. Done. So. Facts. That started the whole carbon run. That's crazy, bro. The whole entire carbon run. Do you tend to feel like you said? Uh, when I got my uh, tents and stuff done, I had to go out and take shots. Okay. So you get everything in one shot. Nice. Um, like I said, the same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. This is about, that's just about it. Now, this, this, this wrap, this color is big, for real, for real. What color is this? It's like uh, a lime. Satin apple green. Satin. Ah. Man, like, I, apple green. Yeah, so I like the gloss. Wasn't really, I didn't really want to stand out. I hate it's to say that. It stands out regardless. <laughs> but gloss was like too shiny. Down. Yeah. And I didn't want it to clash with, with, with the carbon. Carbon. So I said, you know what? And I thought about that. The mat was like too flat. 
So okay. I was like, you know what? What else is another thing I can get? So I was like, you know, it's me, facts. facts. I mean, right, right now it looks it looks dull, mm -hmm. but when the sun hit it, it, it shines. So it's like a, it's like a mixture. Best of both worlds with it. Right? Exactly. Definitely. I mean, and then with this color, I haven't seen this color on the coupe. I mean, I seen it on the sedans, but right. I've never seen it on the coupe. So that's another color. reason why I wanted to go with it. This color is beat, and then the way it flow with the with the carpet, like you said. Yeah. It's not what I would say. It's not overkill. Yeah. Like if the whole drawing was this color, it might be too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that it's you balanced it so perfectly is crazy, bro. Um, I could have did it better myself. Oh, friend. and I forgot. Cause now that I'm thinking about it, just looking at it, uh, it's also on D2 air struts with a uh, 3P uh, air lift system. So it's also in bags too. So. I don't know how I forgot that part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. <laughs> exactly. You can't skip the fact that it's bad, man. Things sit pretty, pretty. Word. Woo wee. You did a lot, bro. Man, I tried, man. Like, this thing for hey, You did a lot. And it, it took it took me roughly about four months to do most of this stuff. That's I mean, wild, because. Bro. The apparent, like I said, the exterior, all this stuff took about four months. So when it came to the performance, that that I did that like the year prior. So I was going for like power and speed first, yeah. and then I said, you know what, I go for looks the following year. Afterward, that's crazy. Cause that's one of the questions I was gonna ask you: how long it took. So you saying you only you only was playing with it aesthetically for about yeah. four months. Yeah, because when I first started it, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know what route I wanted to go. Because, like I said, this car was never supposed to be bad. It was never supposed to go nah. in bags. Never was supposed to go in bags. That so, wasn't part of it? <laughs> one, of my, one, of my, one of my boys is like, you know, it's back. I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't want to do that. So we going back and forth. Yeah. Wait, not, I don't want to do it for like 20 minutes. Yeah. So I said... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. do it. I'm gonna take a shot. So we did it. it. Took us all day to do it. Got everything on. Tested everything. Now you said we did it. Took us all day to do it. You and your man physically did it yourself. Yeah. Like everything. Wow. Like crazy. everything on this car. Everything on this car. We. I done. Every, you did it. Everything. Jeez. The only thing I can say I didn't do. Well, we're going to get to that part, but there's two things I can say I didn't do that yet, didn't that do. I didn't do. But everything, everything else, I did hands everything else in my hands. Every, hands, corner, every corner of this, every corner of this car has been touched. Yo. Every corner. I got to tap you every up corner, on that, kid. Every corner of this car has been touched. Eesh. Ooh, man, you did your thing. Everything. Definitely did your thing, bro. So, that's so you and your man, y'all was going back and forth about doing and you, and you finally did it? Yeah, so, we, so when we put it on, um, Tested everything, so I need to leave to go home. Leaving out of his driveway, I blew one of the bags. Right there? Exactly. All that hard work out the window. So, driving home, blew the other one. So, both of my air struts in the front is blown. Right. So the car just slammed on, it's, it's terrible. You're driving on the ground. It's terrible. Sheesh. So, goodness gracious. Replaced them, same, same sleeves, blew them again. What, what is going on? Yeah. So I did my research because I just I don't really know about air suspension. This yeah. is like my this is my, my first air, Ooh, air suspension first car. car. Okay. So I did my research. Uh I found out that there's a company called C T V. Okay. That make coilovers the bags. So mm. basically what they make is a double bellow, okay. which is where it's more stronger, more durable than they are. And they work better. Okay. And to me, I like them for the price that you get them for. They're very, they're very dependable. Okay. So, like I said, I have my headaches and stuff with it. But once I finally got it all dialed in, yeah, I ain't have no more problems. No. No. Did you touch the interior at all? Um, only thing I tried to say it was got a couple nice. things. Nice. Uh. That steering wheel. Carbon fiber Great. steering wheel, um, carbon fiber paddle shifters, carbon fiber center console, uh, my own, my shifter. That's from 
a Q60, well, Q50, 2018 on up. Mm -hmm. So that shifter is from a, a upgraded shifter. Um, oh yeah, my push to start. It's also carbon fiber. So the button, the, the, the button. start button itself start button is itself. carbon fiber. Yeah. Also that's basically what I had. That's basically what I got done. And also, I got the air lift control on there. So, nice. So, I basically, that's basically everything that I got done to. I love it, bro. I love it. What about audio? Did you touch audio at all? Um, mainly. Not, not necessarily. Like, I kind of like a little subwoofer, but I actually got to get it, actually. Actually, going actually redo oh, everything oh, over. <laughs> you said so, you got a little subwoofer. That thing look beasty back there. Though. So what I'm gonna do is now this, like I said, I wasn't really thinking like setups and stuff like that. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a whole trunk layout. Everything is gonna be done over. Completely. Yeah. So the whole entire trunk is gonna be done. Over. Okay. 100%. Um, custom box I'm gonna put in there. Uh, I'm going to um, do something with the air tank, the compressors, the sub, the amp. So I'm going to actually put music in here. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually do that when I start getting nice outside. So I'm going to do the whole tight trunk. Do it? Yeah. So everything is going to be done. Uh, but other than that, that's just, that's just simple. Yeah, I, yeah. I hate how it looks. I mean, but, you know, because you just, you just throw it together for the first time. Yeah. Like, I mean. Start or whatever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Just like everything else. Exactly. It's the starting point. And once you get into it, put your hands into it. Exactly. So it's just morph thing. into something totally different. Exactly. And that was just a thought. Like I would, I would, at one point, I didn't care for my interior. And I didn't care for the trunk because mm -hmm. I really was focusing on the outside of the car. Cause that's what people see first. Yeah. They don't really know what's in your trunk or in your interior. Exactly. So that's what I concentrated on first. Yeah. But now that I got the interior out the way, or exterior out the way. I'm gonna work on the interior and then I'm gonna do the trunk. Okay. But that's gonna be like over time. So. Over time, exactly. Exactly. Now, did you touch performance at all? Because I'm looking at this exhaust. Oh, yeah. So I gotta, gotta uh, ask you, bro. <laughs> I gotta own um, a three inch. Actually, start from my whole exhaust system is all aftermarket. I got uh, DC sport headers, mm -hmm. um, water gun. Uh, resonated test pipes, well, motor down arc pipes. Okay. Um, Z1, Z1, three inch single exit all the way to the back. But I'm gonna keep that for now. Well, I'm gonna change the exhaust and go back to a dual exhaust. Okay. Um, as far as like engine bay, let's see what it looked like under there. Uh, stilling uh, stage, stilling three, um, cool air intakes, water down, ported plenum. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what's the name? AFE, uh, throttle body spaces, and I'm also on uh, E85. I got the uh, flex fuel back, oh, yeah? flex fuel back there in the back. I kind of hide E85? it. I don't let people really know that I'm on E85. So. I got EA5 set up. I got um So you be moving. Yeah. Upgraded fuel pump. Uh 650cc injectors. So roughly right now I'm at about three three eighty. Oh, three, not three eighty. Three thirty three thirty eight to the wheels on wheels. pump gas. So okay. on E85, I'm at a, roughly about roughly about three sixty. Three sixty. Crazy. What is this exactly? Is it is it for? What well, is it for? I never saw instead one. of instead of it's like so, the company that make that is Motodon. It's uh, my uh, ported plenum. Okay. So basically, what they do is they shave shave it down. Okay. To allow more air to breathe into the manifold gotcha. to the cool engine off. Gotcha. So, roughly, I'm gonna end up on um, probably. Playing with playing with the engine bay a little bit more. I'll okay. probably I don't know, probably do a cam, uh lightweight pulley, mm. uh 
the BR30 transmission, I'll probably end up putting that in there. So I'm I'm thinking about a couple things I want to do as far okay. as like performance wise, and then I probably call it a day after that. But that's yeah, you, you just might call it a day. I don't yeah. see you calling. I know, but it's, I say, yo, it's hard. It's hard to I don't stop. I see you calling it a day, like, bro. Hard, like it's hard to stop. It is hard. Cars. It's hard to stop. It's very hard to stop. Uh, also, uh, headlights. What's going on with the thing? Yikes, I didn't know that. Yeah, so Kept that in the tuck right there. That's crazy. Do me a favor. Put the hood down. Let me see how it look with the hood down. Yo. Oh, man. Yo. Her. I'm going um, to get them. Uh, they be dancing, too. Sheesh. So I'm gonna get them uh, redone over because I've seen some different headlights that came out. They oh, yeah? How they look. Yeah? So I'm gonna get some uh, some new ones and I'm gonna customize those too. Buy it, you know? Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that. Now, before we move off of performance too, can we hear how that exhaust sounds? Because it looks beastly. I just wanna, just wanna get a little taste, man. I like the point of view. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I'm also uh, I'm also tuned too. Yeah. So performance tuned. Yeah. So you got it tuned as well. Yeah. Uh, valley map. Uh, valley map. Frame map. Frame map. Uh, kill map. Woo. Yeah, it's directly against property. So that explains the 360 to the wheels when you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, 360. I leave. It's only one performance I'll, part that I'm not going to disclose. That okay. I got that helped me get that to help me get to there. But it's, it's one performance mod in there in that engine that helps me get to 360. Right. So, hey, okay. It'd it, it be moving. So I put it on E85. I just don't frequently use it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to save that for Yeah, I said, I don't special. Need for it. Yeah, definitely. Lot, bro. Out of everything you did so far, what would you say was your most expensive mod? Um, you did a lot. Individually, what's in my uh suspension? Suspension. Yeah. Now, suspension alone, and then I want to say wheels, and then everything else right okay. after that. Definitely. Now, did you encounter? Did you encounter any headaches? Because you did everything, you know, most at least ninety-eight percent of the stuff you did yourself, hands, hands dirty, and all that. So, when you come to putting these cars together, I know from experience that sometimes you encounter headaches. We hope to not encounter headaches. Yeah. But sometimes we—that's what happens. So, did you ever encounter any headaches, or if you had to do the whole thing over? something that you did that you'd be like man uh, i had to do that again i had a few um like i mentioned before my uh suspension okay. the front with the bag step yeah that right there um sure my first exhaust that i put on the car the mid pipe came wild pipe uh fedex lost it Shout out to FedEx. <laughs> FedEx lost it. That's crazy. So I had to wait. I had to wait probably almost a month just to get the wild pipe. So that that was a delay. Yeah. Um. Finally got that. Uh, what was the other problem? And the uh, steering wheel. Putting the steering wheel on because the airbag cover 
would not come off. But really? Nothing. Because the impact comes that I got on it now, it's a custom one. Mm-hmm. But the one that came with the car, it would not come off the car. Nothing. Are so, you serious? And then me, like, I was cautious because airbags, that's the last thing you want to explode in your face. Exactly. So I was kind of fidgeting with it, didn't really want to pull it off. Yeah. So when I started prying around it, it took me maybe like 20, 30 minutes just to pry around it, just to pull the airbag cover off. Once I got it off, then everything went right. down. But Dang. those were mainly like the top three headaches that I encountered with this car. See, that's the thing about putting cars together like this is people don't realize like the little, the littlest thing. Yeah. You see the steering wheel, you be like, yo, that's dope. That's hard. Yeah. But you don't realize the, like it's certain things that go into like taking the, the stock one off and putting this one on. You would, I wouldn't even have thought if I wasn't into cars, I wouldn't have thought like, damn, the airbag got to come out. There's an airbag it's behind that joint too. Exactly. You don't need that joint exploding like you said. Exactly. So it's like, it'd be more than what meets the eye with a lot of this stuff. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And then the thing about it is with these cars, it's like nothing, no aftermarket car fits like how it came from back. So That's anytime so you're trying to put things together, something is going to be off. Yeah. No matter what it is, like it could be, it could be a hood, it could be a trunk, it could be a side skirt, it yeah. could be wheels, it could be That's it could true. anything. I mean, steering wheel. Like every, something is going to be off because it's not who we inspect. When they make these cars, they spec them to how exactly. they to the exactly millimeter. The yeah. I mean, so when we go to modify the car, it's not going to be it's not going to be on point. Exactly. It's definitely not going to be on point. That's so true. So a lot of time, sweat, scrapes, cuts, <laughs> blood oh, dripping that. from my hands, hands hurting. Word. Like. I'm back about, neck because you got to be under, under car, trying to reach like, it. It's been times That's I worked on this car for eight hours straight. Dope. Didn't drink none, didn't eat nothing. Like just working on the car, just working didn't want to get car. it done. Definitely. And, um, a lot went into this. Like a lot. I spent a lot of time, a lot of money went into this car. A lot. Speaking of time that you spent into the car, I got to reiterate. You said aesthetically, it took you only about four months though to get it to where it's at cosmetics wise yeah i started started march of last year okay and i was finally able to get everything in the car by early june so early march june, june so early june is everything that's how it is like that. that's crazy yeah. so the color didn't look like this truck wasn't there okay Wheels wasn't on, brakes wasn't on, side skirts, hood, fenders, bumper, none of that stuff was on. None of that things was on. So all, it looked like a, a, a like it, the people who know me, uh-huh. for the car that they've seen before this, mm-hmm. they used to be, used to just be a red car. It used to be a red car. Like, people who know me now don't even know the actual color of this car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just yeah. know it for this, but the people who know me when I, Four. Prior before, yeah, they know it as as the red the car. The red car, exactly. Thing, sheesh! I'm looking at it now, son, and it looked like it looked like a, it kind of looked like a toy, bro. Like it's so it's the way it's sitting right here, and the, I guess because of the bags, yeah, it almost looked like it's supposed to be like a it's like a grown man's toy for real. I get, I get. <laughs> I get, the crazy part about it is I get clowned a lot. They were like, oh, you got uh, a Lightning McQueen or a little Nash car, like a Hot Wheel car. They're like, yo, look like a Hot Wheel like car. Like a Hot Wheel car. To me, that's dope, though. Hey, I said I like it, because that's, that's, that's what I grew up with. That's what I grew up playing with. I grew up playing with Hot Wheel cars. So. Yo, I love it, bro. It definitely remind me of like a toy. Like it looked like a grown man's toy for real. I'm The way it's sitting down, the stance and all that. Yeah. Hard, yo. so I was like, no, I just, I just mapped out everything that I wanted to do to it, my own ideas. Crush uh, but other than the air suspension, that was one of my boys' ideas. <laughs> he pushed you. Uh, he pushed you. As far as like, I'm glad he did. It, as far as like how I wanted it to look, man, uh, that's uh, that's all me. Like I knew oh. everything. I wrote everything down. I yeah. had every last mod listed. 
how much I paid for it, where I got it from, mm. everything was listed. Like every last modification all the of the details and all that on it. And if you look at the list, like I so I even had people saying like, yo, what you spent on this car, you could have just bought a damn house, but you know, you do what you like. Exactly. I mean, like That's the end of the day. Yeah, like I said, I I I have a passion for this. Like I've been playing with this platform for years. You know? Yeah. So when I finally got to this, I'm like, this is what I want to do. Facts. I mean, and I motivate. I try to motivate guys to say, yo, you can do this too. Even exactly. though I did it, even though I did it in a short period of time, that don't mean you got to do it in a short take period of time. time. You take your time. Pace yourself. Doing yeah. It. So, Pace yourself. I try to let them know, like, like all the guys on my team now, like, and I'm, and I'm really proud of them. most of the guys that just did mm -hmm. so much in a short period of time, and then the, I'm also proud of the guys who taking their time, yeah, on doing what they doing what they want to do to their car. Like exactly. I said before, I don't want nobody to think that, you know. You gotta just say, yo, you gotta do this in a short amount of time to get this done. No, you do it in your own pace, your own time. Exactly. I just did this just to set the bar high. Facts. Letting everybody know, like, yo, this is something that I'm gonna do. And then when you reflect back on looking at what I did and how I started, mm -hmm. I mean, now you know what I've been through. Cause like I said, I went through the headaches. I went through the uh, ordering the wrong things, getting the wrong sizes and things like that. So when guys ask me questions about what they want to do to their car, I can inform them on the right stuff. Cause like exactly. I said, I've been through the through headache. It. You ain't got to go through that. Definitely. I mean, like I waste, don't get me wrong. I wasted money. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit there and say I did. I wasted money. Right. I did. I regret it. But then again, it's like, yo, you know what? I, I did it on something that I love doing. Facts. So that help. Now, is this your daily driver? No, no. I, Definitely not. I, definitely not. <laughs> I love quick. it. I love this car. I could not daily it every day. Right. I mean, right. I love it, but I couldn't. I couldn't daily it that car. Some people do. Yeah. But I, I'm not. I couldn't. I couldn't. Definitely. I mean, I definitely. Now I know you already touched on it, but I gotta ask you specifically about the, any other plans for the car. Um, the only thing I can probably say is. I'm gonna change the exhaust setup okay. back to a dual. Yeah. The single was the single was cool. Yeah. I think I just wanted to do it just to like just to shoot planes and stuff like that. Or just make a bigger thing. So I'm when it's a dual, you can't do all of that. With the I dull? mean, with a dual, it, it kind of helps. It kind of with a single, everything is gathered to one to one uh, exit out of the exhaust. Yeah. So both sides of the engine works out of one. Now, yeah. on a dual. Both sides of the engine is coming out of your own chambers. Gosh. So, so now, like I said, it was it was cool. But I think I'm gonna go back to a dual exhaust. It, dual to me looks better. Gotcha. I mean, single just looks, you know, it, it, it's cool. But I want to go back to a dual and then own and the headlights. Headlights. Right. Oh yeah. You I'm gonna get some different ones. Else. I saw some else. So okay. I said I'm gonna get some different ones. Okay. And then maybe maybe I'm gonna touch the tail lights. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna touch the tail lights. But I got something else in my I got something else on my sleeve that I'm working on. Yeah. That I got coming soon. So I'm gonna uh, probably put this to the side and then probably do all those things over time. But okay. I got something else I got working on. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. But I'm gonna actually I'm not going I'm not gonna build that as fast as I did this one. That okay. one I'm actually gonna take my time. time. This one this this was like a rush job. So either one. Either this joint right here, when you do them little switches on it, yeah, or on a completely new bed, yeah. Now, now mind you, mm -hmm. the world is watching, bro. Okay. Gotta ask you, can I get you on for a part two, either with a different V or this one right here? Of course, of course, of course. The world as is watching, fact, bro. As a matter of fact, I do you one better. Okay. Let's let's hear it. When this gets completely done because i know once i start working on the other one mm -hmm. when this gets completely done yes and i start working on the other one and i say i want to at least get the other ones about at least 80 percent okay i do both at the same time Ooh. i do both at the same time okay so i do both cars at the same you gonna time you're gonna pull both of them out for me both of them out at the same time guys and that time it should be nice outside guys y'all here with y'all listen man you're nice gonna rewind the tape 
He said he bringing both the new build when it gets where it needs at least 80% and this one 100%, he pulling them out and we're gonna get him back on the chat. Solidify. Thank you, my brother. No problem, man. I appreciate you no on problem. that, man. Man, so we got pretty much everything done. Um, is there anybody you want to shout out or the social media or anything like that before we shut it down? Um, I want to shout out to my team. Um, probably Q, sir. Uh, PA, New York, New Jersey, uh, PA, Ohio, soon to be down in Texas. Sheesh. Um, also, uh, guys who was a part of this build, um, Stay modded. Also, a big guy who wrapped my car. Uh, all the performance people I got all my mods from. Uh, Rad, my tuna. Um, also, uh, and then everybody who gave me a helping hand with this, man. It wasn't, it wasn't easy. I mean, it wasn't easy. So I had a lot of guys on my team that gave me a helping hand with it. Um, also, shout out to my boy Swift, because he the reason why I got bags on the car. So, um, <laughs> So yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just also, oh, oh yeah. Also follow me on IG, VQ underscore, underscore goblin on IG. And like I said, man, I'll be back. We'll be back. They gonna pull out a two banger. Be back. Yo, guys, once again, can't disappoint, man. Regular guys that irregular cars on YouTube. Make sure y'all tap in. If y'all don't tap in, y'all might as well just tap out bottom line regular guys dot irregular cars make sure you turn on your post notifications hit the subscribe button and leave a positive comment tell a friend to tell a friend to hit the subscribe button also regular guys dot irregular cars on instagram when you follow me on instagram remember you're going to get the preview two to three weeks in advance so the people that's on instagram Y'all ahead of the game when it comes to regular guys that eat regular cars because y'all know what's going to drop before I even drop it. Also, guys, TikTok. Regular guys that eat regular cars on TikTok. We're going to see the same cars that we did, but we're going to flip it and bounce it with the music and all that. So it's going to be real spicy. Trust me, you're going to love it. Guys, like I always tell y'all, I love y'all. Peace.